Okay, so you just got yourself a new hatchet and you were ready to use it for the woods. But what's as important as having a good hatchet for the woods is having a really good way of carrying that hatchet when you're out here in the woods. Today, I'm gonna to be going over my two favorite ways of on-body carry for hatchet. Now we all know you can throw this thing in your backpack or throw it on your backpack. We won't go into the many ways to mount this on your backpack because there's many ways to do that. However, sometimes when you just want to come out here, like I find myself very frequently, I just want to come out here with just the two, just a handful of tools, you know, on my back or on my body somewhere. I don't want to throw a big backpack on just to put on a hatchet. I want to have just the hatchet, not the pack. So how do we put this? So what are a few good ways of throwing this on you? That's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's look, let's dive into this. So first off, I should put the mask back on this because it is pretty sharp. So you have your hatchet and so having a good hatchet is definitely the first step of the equation. But my favorite way and the number one way that I always recommend people carry them is it's actually can be done in one of two ways. Now, if you're like me and you swear by Carhartt pants, as you guys have probably noticed, pretty much the design staple of Carhartt is having a hammer loop on the left side of your pants. And this is probably my favorite way to carry a hatchet and even an ax to a the greater extent because when you have it right here, it's out of the way for you. You can walk around the woods, you can traverse just fine. Then whenever you need it, just pull it up and you can use it. In fact, because of this way, while I'm not encouraging it, well, I'm not saying you can just do it solely like this. If you do have a hatchet, you can even leave it unsheathed in this position so long as you're careful, you know, not hit the edge. You can even have it unsheathed here and if you're going through a lot of brush, you know, you can hit, you know, take down the brush you need, put it right here, you know, walk on and, you know, use it as you need. However, for safety, for the most part, I leave the mask on the sheath. <laughs> I leave the mask on the axe and just walk around with it right here. Now if you don't like Carhartts or they don't fit you or they're just not your style, there are quite a few leather makers that manufacture loops that go on your belt that you can also you know, slide an axe or a hatchet into. So either way, uh, just putting, so either way, those are two ways of really effective hatchet carry. Now like I said, Carhartts already have a hammer loop built into the pants themselves, so that's kind of an added plus for Carhartts or for people who wear Carhartts who kind of have a really efficient way of carrying hatchets and axes just like this. And this is how I've done most of my hatchet carry for most of my life. Even when I did have backpacks on, I loved having the hatchet and axe right here because once again when you're going through the brush, you don't necessarily want to stop, drop, put your backpack down, grab your axe or hatchet and then, you know, clear a path. I like being able to just be able to I like to be able to just grab my axe or hatchet and just go to work. So this is my number one carry way. It's also very intuitive especially with some training. You know, I don't even really have to look. I just know where my um, loop is and I can find it throw it down there and keep continuing to walk. So if this is not your style or you just can't make this style of uh, like hammer loop, axe loop work for you, my second top way is by the baldric rig. Now sadly I have a knife on a baldric rig so I can't exactly show you what the axe or hatchet would look like but if you could imagine essentially it's the same thing as putting an axe right about here and just carrying it. And whether you have it under your arm or you know move it kind of behind your back, similar to this, you know, just imagining your hatchet, you know, on your back. This is a really efficient way to carry your hatchet and once again keep it very close to you. Because the entire objective of having a tool, especially like a hatchet and like a knife, is not only do you want to have it on you, but you also want to have it in a very efficient and easy to grab or easy to you know, reach place so that you don't have to fight packs or you don't have to fight your clothing. This stuff should be all very exterior on the outside of your clothing. That's very easy to reach and easy to grab. 
And if you don't do that, you're going to run into a lot of frustration. So those are the top two ways for me, either by Baldrick rig or by hammer axe loop. And once again, if you have Carhartt pants, that loop is already there. But if you don't like Carhartts or you don't have Carhartts and you don't want to get them, you can easily find a leather maker who makes hammer slash tomahawk slash axe uh, pull or hammer either hammer axe or tomahawk loops that will fit on your belt and you can easily carry this you know sitting on a belt so those are my top two methods of carrying your hatchet and like i said for me for the ease and convenience of these tools they're here to make your life and your time out in the wilderness easier so you want to make sure that you have them in accessible easy to grab easy to reach places so that you can use them as frequently as you need and then safely put them back where they're not going to hurt you or the people you're around. So anyways guys, those are my top two ways of carrying a hatchet. Hopefully this video wasn't too basic for you and it gives you guys some ideas on what you can do. As always, God bless and I'm out.